Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and we're back with a second part of this tutorial for New Boston in detecting the user's browser. Now in the last part, if you haven't watched it already, go back and watch, otherwise you probably won't understand what's going on. Uh, in the last part of the tutorial, we used the get browser function and we updated a specific file um, in, our, in our PHP um, uh, .ini file, we, we referenced a file that's going to allow us to use this proper, properly. So we've used print R to print out every element of this or every key in this array and each value. Now if we look through this we can see that we might not be able to make sense out of much of the information. I'm using Google Chrome at the moment and things like Mozilla are appearing here. So you might be wondering why that is. Well if you look through um, if you look through the uh, each key you can see that we've got this key here called browser and that is equal to the value of Chrome. So then we've got platform, WinVista after that, blah, blah, blah. So Chrome seems to be the only correct and sort of direct piece of information that we've got. We've just got Chrome there, we've got nothing else. So therefore this is a really, really great key where we can extract the value and use this information to detect the user's browser. So by the end of this tutorial, I'm going to have created a program that's going to uh, echo out to the user what their browser is. Or we could probably modify it and say, you need to use Google Chrome, for example, if they're not using a, a browser which is Chrome. Okay, so um, we've got this information here. So we know that the key is browser. This is obviously an associative array. So what we can do is we can come in here and we can echo out browser remember for arrays we use our square brackets and we can just echo out the key browser so now let's preview this in uh, in uh, Chrome and see what happens you can see it's just extracted that information now this is all the information that we're going to need let's go and test this in other browsers so I'm going to test it in Firefox and I'm going to test it in Internet Explorer so we I'm going to copy the URL and come into Firefox first of all and I'm just going to paste that in there Okay, so now we've got the value Firefox, so it's successfully detected this browser as Firefox. Let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer and do the same. And you can see that it's IE, which is obviously short for Internet Explorer. Okay, so let's take these away and bring back Chrome. Right, so what we want to do now is we've, we've grabbed this information. Now what we want to do is uh, we want to detect the user's browser in terms of telling them that if they're not using Chrome, that they should do. So I'm going to put this browser equal to browser browser. So this might look a bit confusing, but what I'm in fact doing is creating a, is replacing this variable, but taking the value of this from this. We're not going to need any more information from this. So what we're doing is we're restoring the information in here. So we can still come down and echo out browser. It will do exactly the same thing. There we go. So back to uh, our text editor and we're going to create um, an if statement now I'm going to say if browser doesn't equal Chrome then do something now the problem with this is is uh, we're using a capital C usually but what we want to do is we want to ensure that we put everything to lowercase so I'm going to say str to lower so we've converted Chrome to lowercase let's just kill the page there and we can echo browser you can see I've now converted this from Chrome to Chrome lowercase so now we can perform an appropriate check on this um, so it's if browser doesn't equal Chrome echo you're not using Google Chrome um, please do so let's just escape this character because I'm using uh, an inverted comma there, or rather a uh, single quotation mark. Let's go back now and refresh. Now nothing's happened. Why is this? Because we're using Chrome. What happens now if we go back into Firefox and refresh? We're going to get this message, you're not using Google Chrome, please do. And what about Internet Explorer? Let's go back and refresh and see what happens. You're not using Google Chrome, please do. So you can see how this is a really simple but effective way to detect the user's browser first of all. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys to play around with this and do whatever you want with it basically. You can either tell the user what browser they're using 
or you could um, create maybe a switch statement to do this it would be a lot easier you could um, do exactly what I've done and said you're not using Google Chrome please do there's a variety of uses that you can get out of detecting the user's browser this is just one but now that you know how to do it you can experiment them for yourself